Hey guys, today I would like to talk about sub UVs in Niagara because it was a bit confusing to me thanks to Glad Particle um, who helped me to find out this way because I already recorded a video and used weird stuff in there. Um, I will link this video in the description just in case you want to know how to use this sub UV function but uh, to achieve all these effects what we see here you uh, don't need it. Um, what do we see here? We see a flipbook which um, has two really nice things. First, there's frame blending happening. It's not motion vectors, but the frames are linearly uh, blended into each other to avoid uh, popping. And also the explosion starts fast and then slows down over time. So the play speed uh, is changed over time, which I really like. Um, so let's just start. If you used a material, you don't need this. You just need the particle sub UV sampler, assign a texture, and that's it. That's uh, the whole material. And then you start uh, your particle and it will look like this. So the first thing what you have to do is um, in the particle renderer you type in how many rows and columns you have uh, on your texture and we don't see anything here yet. So what you have to do now is you add a um, sub UV animation and be careful the sub UV texture sample which sounds really similar is there for sampling a texture which then controls the orientation or the, the movement of the particles. Um, so this is not what we want here. We want sub UV animation. And in here we have to type the numbers of the frames again. And now we see um, the flip playing problem is that it plays uh, a bit slow um, and it is very, uh, yeah, uh, plopping from one frame to the other. So to um, get a nice frame blending, you just go into the sprite render again and activate sub UV blending enabled. And this I didn't see at first. Uh, I expected it to be here somewhere and I didn't see the option. So I thought it's not existing, but it's actually in the renderer. So now we have a nice smooth blending between the frames. So that's way better than before. Um, and now for the time, another thing I didn't see, usually when I expect to be able to change values, I expect a little uh, text field like this but in this case we want to use this and I was just confused by this little star but you can change the value like any other value and just apply a curve. Now we will see that the whole thing moves backwards because we start at 1 and go to 0 so we have to change the values um, so to go from here to here and we will see something interesting at the end uh, when the explosion is done um, we should see something interesting at least. Let me see. Uh, first I change the, um, uh, the curve so that it moves faster at the end because that's what I want and then at the end it goes slower. And what we'll see is nah, nah, sometimes I saw an issue that at the end I would see um, a mixture of these frames. So let me just uh, show you what I mean. If I delete this um, this key and I, I set this to one, I see already the first frame again. And maybe I don't want this at the end of the lifetime. So what you can do, you use a smaller value, for example, nine nine. And in that case, we see here the last frame and the first frame as well and this is because of the blending because when I when I blend or when I disable the blend now it behaves like we would expect if I set this to one we see the first frame because uh, frame zero or time zero and time one is basically the same right because it loops again but if you use a slightly smaller value like um, sorry like uh, 0 0099 then we see only the last frame uh, but when frame blending happens, already at this position it blends in, of course, the next frame, which is the first one. So what you can do to avoid this, just if you want to really be sure that at the end you only see the last frame, you can just manipulate the curve a little bit and just try a value. Go a uh, And now, yeah, uh, so oops, 0, 0097 is the value which shows us really only the last frame without any frame blending and then you can just add 
your key again and now you can be sure that when you play the whole thing you only see the frame you want because before i had the problem that at the end of the particle lifetime sometimes you would see the first frame coming through and i didn't want this so just uh, in case you see this fix then i don't know why it did not happen uh, in this example but yeah okay <coughs> 